Welcome to a special edition of Modern Wall Street. I'm here at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And today, ringing the closing bell will be Timothy Miller, and he's the CEO and president of Aviana Therapeutics. Tim, great to have you here today. All right, thanks for having us. Well, today is Rare Disease Day, and there are events taking place across the world. Mm -hmm. But here at the NASDAQ market site, we have Aviana Therapeutics ringing the bell. So can you tell me a little bit about some of Aviana's uh, early as well as late stage assets? Sure. So we have a, a number of rare disease gene therapies, and today is Rare Disease Day. Mm -hmm. And there are over 7,000 rare diseases in the world, and 95% of them have no cures approved or in progress uh, you know, by researchers around the world. We've been lucky enough uh, to get involved with a number of great academic and scientific groups. Um, our products are focused on uh, dermatology and metabolic applications. Now we're looking for treatments for San Filippo syndrome, uh, Batten disease, and epidermolysis bullosa. Well, Tim, you highlighted some of the assets that Aviana Therapeutics has. So could you tell me a little bit about the pipeline and for those uh, products, what stage they're at right now? Yeah, so we have three clinical stage products and we were fortunate enough to just announce some great uh, global world uh, shaking uh, data from our clinical trials in San Filippo syndrome type A. Uh, this is a uh, gene therapy uh, that delivers a virus that's been coded in, and corrected to give the correct functioning copy of a gene to these patients. And we've enrolled a couple of patients to date and are really showing when you look at the data uh, a tremendous benefit in these patients. And last but not least, I do want to ask you about your company and what's happening in the greater world. Now, we have a new administration in the mm -hmm. White House, and this evening we'll be getting a speech from President Trump. Now, there are a lot of expectations for deregulation as well as tax reform, but when it comes to a biopharma company such as yourself, you'll be paying attention to what happens in terms of regulations as well as FDA approvals. So where do you stand in terms of positioning right now? Sure. So there are a lot of uh, orphan product uh, designations and uh, market exclusivities that the FDA has been granted to give sure. out to the companies. Uh, Abiona is fortunate enough that we have been granted a rare pediatric disease designation through two of our programs, an orphan product designation for a few others. So you know, certainly looking to the FDA and to the administration to continue to support uh, how this helps incentivize these companies to really bring out uh, therapies for rare diseases. Okay, Tim. Well, good luck with the closing bell Thanks. today, and thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. That was Timothy Miller, CEO and President of Aviana Therapeutics. I'm Remy Blair reporting from the NASDAQ Market Site. Thanks for joining us.